This video is called Gender Quotas, otherwise known as Affirmative Action, Promote Mediocrity and Encourage a decline in society. Now these days in Western society and in corporate mission statements in the business world and in parliament, we've got calls for mandated quotas in all these areas, particularly by the left. They're pushing quotas. And this is another globalist push to lower the quality of Western society to dumb the quality of society down because affirmative action by very nature promotes mediocrity. Now, you used to be able to say to your son or daughter, if you grew up and you work hard and you're smart enough, you're going to get the job. But now you can't say that because now you'll have to particularly say to your son, Son, I wouldn't go into this particular area of work because there's quotas there and there's a good chance you, you might not get the job. Now, that just flies in the face of the way you're supposed to bring up your children and the way that Western society is supposed to be run. It's wrong on so many levels in the fact that you might be better and higher qualified than the person next to you and they're going to get the job either because of their disability quota or that they're a female. And it's just, it's so wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. If a woman's better than me and higher qualified than me and smarter than me, I want them to get the job because that's the way society's supposed to work. I'm not against women getting in areas because they're the best suited for the job at all. I want women to succeed. What I don't want to happen is for women in particular, because most of the quotas are designed for women, to get the job because they're a woman. That flies in the face of what the left crap on about all the time, which is discrimination. Affirmative action by its very nature, whether it's by race or by gender or whatever, is discrimination. Of course, what is also joined in with this is this myth called white privilege. There is no white privilege, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, these days in the Western world, you'd have to say that white people, Asians have now joined us now, are the most discriminated groups in the world. Now you find out that Harvard and the Ivy League universities are now discriminating against Asians because now there's such a thing called Asian privilege. Let me ask you this question. Why have the left got such a hatred for hard work? There is no such thing as privilege. You know why Asians get so far above all the rest of the minority groups? Because they work harder. Asians work harder. Rewarding hard work in a proper Western society. We shouldn't be discouraging it, demonising it. It's an absolute disgrace. You know, on the left or oh, rich people, oh, we want to take their money, oh, we want to tax them, this and that and everything else. Let me tell you something. Rich people are the ones that supply welfare and rich people are the ones that provide a lower class people jobs. As a famous person once said, they never got a, a job from a poor man. It's just ridiculous. And by the way, why are we demonising rich all the time? The whole goal should be for any of us to get richer and improve our economic and our life station. The left want to trample on that, demonise that, and the globalists want to keep you on welfare. I think gender quotas promote mediocrity. I think they demonise the sex that are in the gender quotas. And in Australia, I don't know about other countries, I want you to talk to me about this, in Australia, they're actually reducing the fitness levels and the difficulty of the obstacle courses to get women in the Defence Force. Now, if women are good enough to get into these areas in the Defence Force, of course I want them in there. The, the more the merrier. I mean, I mean, I imagine with men it being a sausage f a fest around all the time, you know, it could be a bit boring. Women in there, good on them. They're good enough, good on them. When it comes to the safety of our nation, I don't want the standard of the defence force reduced just because of affirmative action. I think it's very, very dangerous. And 
what a lot of people don't realise is there are disability quotas in public sector jobs as well. Now, I'm disabled and I don't want to get a job or thinking in the back of my mind I've got the job because of a quota. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. I'm a qualified law clerk. I went to RMIT University in Melbourne and became a qualified law clerk. Now, I worked hard, I got my grades, and I passed the course legitimately, but I had to have a note taker because I can't write, right? Now, every time I passed the course or I got a good grade in, for example, I got a distinction in criminal law and things, I got a good grade. I had people in the class coming up to me and saying that, oh, you only got the good grade because of the note taker, didn't you? And I studied and I worked hard. And and when I was accused of that, it really pissed me off because I worked hard. On the other hand, if I got a job because of a quota and someone in the workplace came up to me and said, oh, you got the job because of a quota, didn't you? What am I supposed to say? What am I going to come up with? Because it's quite possible that I did. Quotas are so wrong. Affirmative action is so wrong. If it's proven genuine cases of discrimination, of course the corporation or the business should be punished or prosecuted. Affirmative action promotes mediocrity, promotes the uh, decline of Western society, and particularly in the Defence Force. It's extremely dangerous. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.